All right, so that was the song Running 3, which can be heard in the third run of Run Lola Run. As you can guess, this is the third run and the final video for this topic. Again, we're going to be discuss. oh, well, I will be discussing the uh, different elements of the run, the important things that we want to look out for, and then the images. Now that music we will be discussing at some point, or you will be given the lyrics to the song, and um, from that you'll be able to look at the role that it plays and how that helps, and how that is an element that is used to create the film and to make it distinctively visual. Alright, the lyrics change slightly each run, and they express something different about the run. Now, this third run opens the animation, Lola's determination is shown from the very beginning. Alright, she's this time, instead of being slightly behind, she's slightly ahead of time. The idea of faith that we've sort of flirted with a little bit throughout our discussion of this film is ever present here again. Uh, we can see that through Doris's flash forward and Doris's possible future here. It, we see her becoming a religious person and handing out religious pamphlets. Okay? Um, Lola's swerve. Because she's ahead, she avoids everything. She swerves and she actually makes Mike, the man on the bike, go a different pathway which leads to the interaction between him and Norbert, the homeless man, which of course we know leads to Manny getting the money back. Alright? Now we've had the swerve, we have Lola asking for help, and then we have her in the casino. Again, this idea of chance, this idea of luck, this idea of fate is present. Okay, uh, you know, luckily she was allowed to get a hundred dollar chip with only ninety nine dollars, or marks, sorry, douche marks uh, is the correct term I should be using there, I apologise. She puts it on twenty once, it works, she puts again the lot on twenty and she wins the amount. Is it chance, is it fate that she is allowed in the casino despite her appearance? Alright, after the casino she's running, she gets a ride in the ambulance and uh, Schuster, the security guard, is there. Alright, previous to this he had an interaction with Lola that showed that he had knowledge of the previous run. He calls her dear. Why would he be calling her dear if he did not know about everything that had happened, okay? You know, he says something like, Papa's not here, dear. All right? He is a bigger figure than just a security guard. We look at in the ambulance, he fully, she fully embraces him. She allows him, him herself to accept her power and her role. Okay, This is this idea of faith. When she completely accepts a godlike character, everything works out for her. Okay, That's the argument you can present in your writing. Uh, she holds hands, miraculously his heart attack, he recovers, everything's good, she gets dropped off. Manny is out, gets out of the car with Ronnie, everything's sorted. Then we have that humorous interaction of, oh, did you run here? And what's in the bag? Lola smiles knowingly, and the film ends. Now to the images themselves. This first image is Lola running. Okay, we've seen it many times, but that caption and her facial expression of what can I do and they're the things that you want to talk about here okay yes the arm is blurred that's been blurred for a reason I want you to discuss all those things and here is the overall focus question how is this image of different to others of Lola running how's the idea of faith being addressed in this image I've touched on that but I want you guys to write more in your annotations next one we have Lola in the casino Right, the first thing I want you to look at is the type of shot. The overall discussion question is, how is Lola's desperation shown in this image? Right, we can see it's her supersonic powerful screen that is able to break glass. It is, of course, affecting everyone around her. First thing is, what's going on in the background? What are the background participants doing? Now I want you to talk about the facial... Um, the facial features, the facial expression that this man has in reaction to her screen. Then Lola herself, okay? Her expression, her stance, her hair and her costuming at this stage, okay? How is her costuming different to everyone else? And finally, this is one, this is the final image of the film. And I want you to look at what do we learn about the characters, in this image, how gender roles return to the norm, 
and how is this shown? Okay, we've touched on the idea of gender roles are subverted in this film, that Lola is the knight in shining armour, where traditionally it is a male character, and Manny is the damsel in distress who is powerless to uh, powerless over his own fate. Now, you guys are going to annotate that yourself. Remember, we're talking at shot, we're looking at colour, we're looking at uh, the, what the people are doing in the shot, what's the salient feature, the reading pathway there, where their eye contact is in terms of one another, all those things. Alright, I will see you in class. Have fun with this.